Duckies, Andy Lip here, back with another OBS tutorial, and yesterday I did a cheeky little poll to see which video you guys wanted to see. It absolutely smashed out of the park, it was like 58% wanted to see this video. This is looking at something cool that you can do with Exceldro's DSK plugin. So here's the example that we're going to be doing. You probably would have seen a video where, I've, where I talked about doing blurs in the background here. So you can see in my OBS, I've blurred out this section here. Um, this hair color bid war section, but not just that I've actually got other elements on screen If I test the raid alert, you can see the minimum alerts. They're all blurred out and I'm doing this using one scene and layering that scene it's a really easy to do. If you've seen my previous video on creating like a blurred background type thing, I don't even know what it's called, uh, but trust me, let's get into it. You'll enjoy it and hopefully you'll learn something and it'll just create another layer inside your stream, all right? Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. Right, so first things first, you're going to want to download the DSK plugin that is Downstream Key, as you can see just here. It's by Exceldro, because he's the wizard, he's the OBS master. And here's a video that I've got on how to get it all set up and working. So if you've got any troubles getting it installed, all that information is in that video. I'm going to link this website in the description as well. Basically, just hit download, install via the .exe file. Easy as that. Make sure you don't have OBS open whilst you're trying to install it, otherwise it will not work. So I've got a blank OBS just here, and you should see downstream Kia on there. If you're not seeing downstream Kia, just right click, and you should see the option to, to select it just there. If you're not seeing that, it means you've not installed it correctly. Go back to my video, and uh, that'll kind of tell you exactly what to do. So I'm going to create a scene just here. I'm going to use a video capture device. I'm just going to call this webcam. Obviously, I'm already using my webcam, so I'm going to use a, um, where is it, OBS virtual camera, and I can get that up just in here like so. So now we've got the webcam on there. We want to create on-screen elements. This is the just chatting screen, and we want to create that blurred background. So I was showing you different ways of doing it and like layering scenes together, but then you'd have to kind of create the blurred stuff in one scene, then you have to create what you want the scene to look like in another scene, and then you'd have to combine the two in a third scene. Doing this gets rid of one of the scenes for you. So I'm going to rename this scene and we'll call this Just Chatting for instance. So Just Chatting. And just there, I'm going to create a, another one and I'm going to call this Blurred On Screen Elements. So give it a name that you're going to remember. So this base, this scene here, we're going to put everything that we want to be blurred on the just chatting scene into this one scene right now. So I need to start adding some things. So I'm going to create a uh, another scene, right? So I'm going to install the minimum alerts, for instance, from stream up. I'll leave the link down below. Uh, so we're going to open up Leoran board here. I've got a blank Leoran board. We're just going to connect it up to OBS and Twitch. So this is going to be so we've got some sort of element on there. So I'm going to install it. So install extensions. I'm just going to jump into the extension folder, which should be minimal alerts just here. And we'll load that in. Select our transmitter. If you're not using the Orenbud, you don't have to use it for this. I'm just bringing up some basic ideas for, for stuff so you can get an idea and understanding of, of how this layers up. So that's created this scene down here, as you can see, alert minim. So when I click on this, you'll be able to see it's created this alert and you can see it's semi-transparent. So if I do a test, for instance, just here, you can see it is semi-transparent. But if I just add that onto my just chatting scene, for instance, so we'll add the scene over there. This is a nested scene. I'm going to add that in and I do a test. You can see it's see-through, but not blurred. So we want to add the blur to it. So I'm going to delete that on there for now. So we want to blur it. So we're going to put it on the scene that we created called blurred on screen elements. So we're going to add that other scene. The amount of times I say scene in these videos, alert minim and put it onto this scene. Again, it's not blurred right now. It's still exactly the same. Okay. So now we need to create a downstream key for this scene. So I'm going to press the plus sign whilst we're on the scene just here. So you can see it's highlighted there. And we're going to just press the plus sign on the DSK. So we do that and it adds it to the list just here. We can do different uh, transitions and things, which I'll get to in a second. And go back to just chatting and you'll probably see, okay, it's still not there. Nothing. If I do test raid, nothing's coming up. But if I select this in the DSK, 
this source is not in this list at all but you can still see it because imagine the downstream key always being um, a scene that's active above whatever scene you're on regardless of what scene you're on so now comes the fun bit and we get to blur it so if i right click on just chatting and i go to filters i press the plus sign and we're going to add blur you will need stream effects i was kind of uh, guessing you already had stream effects installed so that's my bad uh, make sure you have got it the link is in the description down below on how to install that uh, i'm going to use the dual filtering because that uses less resources and to be honest it looks quite nice when you're not blurring in and out like that i think it looks fine but this is the magic touch we're going to press apply a mask and rather than region, we're going to change this to source because we're using an actual source. And the source mask we're going to use is blurred on screen elements. That basically means whatever is on screen is going to blur it in the same place, everything like that, as what you can see previously. So you might have to tinker with the alpha filter uh, and the mask multiplier. I usually do uh, alpha filter on one and then two. And then if I move this out of the way for a second and press test raid this time you'll see it's blurred easy as that we can play around with the blur if that's blurred too much for instance you can see it in the preview just here look what is getting blurred we can uh, maybe we can change the size of the blur so it makes it a little bit less in your face we can go even less it is up to you what you do with that and no matter what we add on there so yeah cool that was done for alerts so I'm going to just crank the size up again so we can see it. But what happens if we wanted something like, I don't know, you had like noughts and crosses from stream up or something like that. So anything that we add to this scene, so I'll add in a color source for instance. And anything that is like, it's not even semi-transparent, but if it, it works better if it is transparent. So I'm just going to add a color source and we'll do a bright green source like this, make it look really horrible. If, you, if I go back to just chatting, you'll see it's just a solid green screen because we've got the DSK just here. If I make it smaller, I put it into this corner. Again, it's up there and you can still see there might be a little bit of blur behind. They shouldn't be able to see it too much just due to it being a solid color. But if we go into filters and add in a color correction, and then what we'll do is turn the opacity down to maybe 50%. Go back to just chatting. And now everything on here is frozen. Okay, well, looks frozen. You know what I'm saying. Uh, so if I go into studio mode, you can see what is happening on the preview here. But because this scene is being overlaid on top, using the DSK, as you can see there, like if I pause it and turn it off, turn it back on, you can see it kind of makes it just, it looks beautiful, all right? It looks great. It's a great touch for, for anything that you, you're putting on stream that is transparent. So if I'm in here, you'll probably see if I go to a different uh, scene, so back to the blurred on screen elements, I move it around, the blur actually follows wherever it is on the right hand side. Because this is mirroring, the downstream key is mirroring this scene, but we're actually using that scene as the blur. And this is why you need that third scene to kind of create that layer effect, otherwise it doesn't work. So you can see, anytime I move this around, if I resize it, look, the whole thing can become blurred. So you can get really creative with the, the effects that you can get with this. So if you wanted, you could have like an animated pop-up and it come in like so, and then back out. A really cool thing to do is just what I love to do, and that is have show and hide transitions. So if I do a show and say we'll have it swipe in from the left, and then we'll do a hide and we'll, uh, we'll get it to slide out to the right for instance press ok and now when i turn it off you can see the whole blurred background goes with it as well so that is just one of the cool things that you can do with the downstream kia that probably is a little bit complicated it does take a little while to get your head around it's even worse than nested scenes even though it's the same kind of concept uh, I hope I've kind of not blown your mind. If you do have any questions about it, please just ask in the comments below. Uh, I kind of mess around with this sort of stuff live on Twitch as well. So if you ever wanted to get inspired or anything, come and visit. I think that's the first time I have ever advertised myself. It made me feel sick. And on that bombshell, I will see you in the next video. Put your rock up in the stone, guys. Remember, if you do want to help me out, consider joining the channel members today or even Patreon so I can make this full-time. All right, guys? 
support your rock with the stone much love I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time make it free for you guys and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members you you guys are legends thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community keep it up guys Thank you.